it's usually a good idea to work on one room at a time. After you've made sure that everyone except for the workers is out of the work area, you'll need to protect the belongings. For a small project, move furniture, rugs, curtains, clothing, toys, foods and other movable items away from the work area. For example, if you're going to paint a window, take down the curtains and push the furniture away from the window. For a larger project, such as painting a room, you can move everything out of the room or move everything to the center of the room. You need enough protected work area for you, your tools, and any surfaces that you are working on. As you prepare to work, put all of the equipment and supplies in the room where you'll be working. For example, you'll need heavy-duty plastic sheeting and waste bags, duct tape, spray bottles, wet sanding blocks, and other tools necessary for the work you're doing. Now you need to seal off the work area to prevent dust from spreading into clean areas of the house while you're working. Cover the floor, counters, air vents, built-ins, carpeting, and any household items that you couldn't remove. Use heavy-duty plastic sheeting as a cover and secure all the plastic with duct tape. Plastic sheeting is cheaper than drop cloths and you'll need to throw away the covering after the job to avoid spreading lead dust to the next job. If you're working inside, shut down forced air heating and ventilation systems. Next, close all windows and doors to keep dust from spreading. Then put all the tools and supplies you'll need on the plastic sheeting so you don't have to walk away from the work area with dust on your shoes to get what you need. One special piece of equipment that you may need is a vacuum with a HEPA filter. A HEPA filter traps even very tiny particles of dust and keeps that dust from getting into the air. If you're working outside, follow the same general procedure. If there are any items that cannot be moved away from the work area, cover them with plastic sheeting and seal with duct tape. Cover the ground with plastic sheeting too and secure the sheeting. If you need to use a ladder outside, cut small slits in the plastic so the ladder doesn't slip. 